their opponents really hard. And oh man! All right, so up tilt is gonna be such a great combo starter and KO setup for Falco, and we're seeing Derek? that on oh, my DK word. right now. Zero what happened? Death. Perfect stock coming out from Larry the Bird Lur. Larry said Shine. Literally, like he literally said, die. Tell him to die in Japanese, <laughs> dude. Oh my god! Oh my! It kind of depends on how the stock rolls out, but there's no shame sometimes conditioning your opponent to start thinking of reads for your comeback game. Oh my word! That uh, pseudo cargo throw into a uh, quick combo right there, but Falco, no stranger to comboing DK in any of the games, and he's doing a good job of getting at the legend. Gets to dare. Yeah, of course, of course uh, spot dash canceling is a very good tool to use in Smash Ultimate. You're probably even using it if you don't realize it. You just cancel your spot dodge animation with an attack. You can be very quick about it. You can get some punishes after spot dodge. And scooping him up one more time with the up tilt. And I just blinked and all of a sudden, Shine is at 117% and the percents are climbing. He's barely been touched on this next up. Trying to go for the pressure and he... Well. Fun fact, uh, uh, until Ultimate Champ was ranked in every Smash game <laughs> that he entered. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> All right, it's the up air there. Immediately doing a pretty good combo, and of course Larry's tack is Orca. Just like he's he literally just told me he's a fan of killer whales, but so, something people have different things to say. But enough of that one. Larry, great advantage here. Tries to go for the dare, immediately putting a stop to tropical. Yeah, and I just want to talk about that whole sequence. Yeah, I know people are saying like, hey, roll has armor on there, so you can like try to like. But it's just one of those things where you can just dash back away and then just grab them or something at the end lag of it because oh. they most likely want to go into shield anyway. Wow, that was minus one hit. Yeah. Anyways, continuing with these combos, guess that Nair put him off stage. She needs some space to breathe. Yeah, kind of looks like he got some wacky DI there because I think he might have gotten a cross up hit on it or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's going to do it just fine for Shine uh, to take the stock. But again, another edge guard. Goes for the, I like the fact that he goes for the high option there because he was probably going to be able to two frame him there at the ledge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Tough guy does go through every rapid jab, so it's a free punish for him. And it's showing Larry's matchup knowledge as well. Yeah, sensing the DI from Shine, knowing that it was going to go low after he catches him, he puts him on the ledge, and he puts him back onto the stage there. He almost gets a platform extension from the middle one, and Larry carrying this man around the whole town and city, just trying to show him the world. Yeah, I mean, this version of Town and City kind of works the same as Lilat, especially a character like Falco can just peek through all those platforms with that quick jump height. Mm -hmm. Because this is one of the things where you play peekaboo through the platforms, you play whack a mole, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Gets that back air, almost gets that forward air. Great spot dodge. K roll, you go underneath that hitbox and just hit the sitting duck he is. Yeah. And that's what kind of makes K roll a little bit difficult to edge guard at times. People aren't used to trying to go under the actual character instead of going above. Yeah. I mean, usually it's usually difficult because uh, K rolls are hugging the stage while they're doing it, mm -hmm. so there's no way to go underneath. But Larry has been going deep against uh, Tropical Sands. Here we go, another ledge option. What does he go for? Goes for the fair, that's gonna be it. Such a strong move, and if you get all the hits in, it's such a damaging and good edge guard tool. Yeah, if you're able to fast fall, you actually get that seventh hit that's actually really hit, you have to be careful. Oh, and that's unfortunate. He crossed up on that Nair armor and actually was still able to get a follow up afterwards. Falco's reflecting pretty good in this matchup, not only because a lot of K rolls are used to actually being able to reflect their own crown back, but because it instantly reflects a black to K roll, and it's really hard to react right there after the crown. You get some end lag. Yeah, and again, we got a safe situation, and he has the room to. Oh, he goes deep. Oh no! Yeah. And looks like Larry's actually playing Falco. Yeah, nice. he's been using he's been using Fox before. Uh, as far as I saw, I got that invitation on that. Yeah, he was using Fox. He's been playing a lot of Fox lately, but it looks like he's liking Falco again. And Falco seems to be like you know, as far as the community has been going, a lot of the melee players seem to think Falco is really good. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly. And all this, and a lot of the Smash Four Falcos. Stage is worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Larry bringing out Falco, making him a. Uh... Oh, uh, he proved there's a hitbox on him. All right, so. Yeah. Couldn't literally not have started any worse. Like, you were zero to death at the start from the you know from the get go. It kind of seems like a little bit of a repeat right now. Yeah, but, but he got 15 this time. So yeah. He's doing 15 times better than he was last time. This is time. true. <laughs> Larry just not letting up on this poor on this poor guy. Oh, laser coming out. He's looking for a dare. He, he was smelling it. Oh, there's a dare right there. Yo, oh, Shine at 67%. He can still bring this back. Yeah, I'm actually very happy that Shine uh, kind of threw his weight around there, threw out more aerials, and felt more comfortable. At least he didn't get three stock. That's a that's a good showing oh, right there. Oh, oh. DI makes it possible. Yep. I feel like he. Oh, oh whoa, clipped him. And that's going to be oh. game one, folks. That was 
actually insane. Like so many games have been like nuts, like just like ending in half a half.